everyone, it's Lorraine Charles, your Mrs. Haiti International, and yes, I'm filming this video in my car, but um, I think that be the things I want to share with you are super important, and I think that you'll enjoy it. So over the past few days, I've been chatting with tons of girls who are planning on competing for the Miss, Mrs., and Miss Teen, and even Junior Teen, Haiti pageant, international pageant, uh, April 11th in New York, and I get asked so many questions about why should I join a pageant? Why should I put myself out there? I'm super shy. I've never done this before. I don't know anything about this, but it began a thought process in me to sort of share um, what I really learned from pageantry, what I gained from pageantry. So this video is entitled 10 Things That Pageantry Taught Me. And granted, you can learn these skills through any area of life, but you get to learn it wearing a sash and a beautiful crown. And beyond that, you make friendships for a lifetime. So 10 things, ready? Effective communication on my platform. Okay, that sounds pretty scary and crazy, but let's be honest. Today, everybody has a cause or something that they're truly passionate about. Now. Being passionate about something is one aspect, but being able to communicate that to somebody, to have them understand the reasons and the importance and why should they care about what you care about. I mean, we all have these burdens on our heart, these causes that God places for us, but why should someone else care? What makes the difference? Not just that you care, but that it can change the lives of so many people. And effectively communicating my platform is something I've worked throughout my whole reign. I'm continuously evolving and working on it. And I'm being forced to really go in depth as to why I think the things I think and why I believe the things I do, because I get asked these questions all the time. So I think that pageantry has really taught me why, who, what, how are you going to say this so people can get it? How do you communicate that with different people? Okay. Number two is networking. Um, networking is, sh gosh, networking is one of my weakest points because I just, you know, I feel like I should just make friends and I'll just ask people from here to there sometimes if I need a favor, but networking is such an important skill and that goes for any field that you do. Networking is extremely important. You need to be able to know how to, you know, when you meet different people, how you can share ideas and how you can just obtain resources sometime. My goodness, listen, through pageantry you have to um, meet people, raise money, um, you have to just get the word out there and to be honest it just brings about so many opportunities that you really never imagined so you need to be able to network you need to be able to be um, a people person and if you don't know how to do that yet you get to learn that okay number three fundraising fundraising getting money Trust me, getting money is one of the most difficult things. Everybody is really strapped these days. Our economy, you know, you know, you know. But you have a cause. You know, you know there, there are people who are less fortunate who need particular services or support. And you gotta get, you know, you gotta be able to learn how to fundraise, come up with great innovative ideas. And through pageantry, you learn that. I mean, not only from just putting yourself out there and meeting different people, the networking part, remember, okay? But also from your sister queens and people who've done it before you, you really get to learn um, the ideas and how it takes to run an effective fundraiser, you know? And you, I mean, where else are you gonna really learn that unless you have a job that makes you do that or, you know, nonprofit work and stuff like that? These are the areas where you really learn those skills. Number four is components of a positive image. Now. I have always been told about keeping a positive image from the time I was born. I'm the oldest of four. My parents are always telling me my sisters and my brother are looking up to me. Um, growing up in the church, the younger kids are looking up to me. Um, in college, other people are watching what I do. Um, in medical school, my God, you're going to be taking care of sick people and people are going to be trusting you with their lives. So hello, you better be acting right. Um, overall, as a Christian human being that I'm a representation of, you know, God's people and what he's doing, you know, what he can do through me to save other lives. And I always have to be mindful of the image that I put out there. Now, and it's not based on, you know, 
maybe one person's individual feeling about it, but overall what it takes and what it means when I put on my sash and my crown and even when I don't have my sash and my crown. What I place on social media, when I just go anywhere, what I'm wearing, what I'm saying about myself and who I'm representing is extremely important. I mean, Mrs. Haiti, that's a big deal. You know, this is what somebody may have never met a Haitian person in their life and they're gonna have an impression based on what they meet me. And that goes from not only what I wear to what I say to how I carry myself and yes these are things I should know already but I think it has forced me to really think about it on a global level it's not just Lorraine and Lorraine's family or Lorraine's faith it's bigger than that it's a whole nation or country to that one person and I think everyone should take that seriously you want to be a title holder you got to be prepared that you are going to represent that title to the best of your ability and I think you really learn that through pageantry. Fifth thing, now this is of 10 things, this is part one of 10, okay, but the last thing I'll share with you right now is public speaking. I know. Many of you have told me that you're shy and you don't like speaking in public and I get that. I mean, I wouldn't consider myself shy but I don't always volunteer. Maybe I do. My friends may feel differently. <laughs> My husband's thinking probably, she's always talking. <laughs> but truthfully, public speaking, I mean, you're going to get really good at it. Even though you may be fearful of it, this is a way to challenge yourself and take yourself to the next level. You're going to have to share your platform. You're going to be asked to speak at different events and places to do all the fun things I talked about, networking, fundraising, all those great things, um, and sharing the thing you're passionate about. Um, your platform so public speaking is going to be something that you really um, get so much better at and I don't know what your profession is or what you'll do with your life but I guarantee you you're gonna to have to be able to express yourself in a way that everyone could understand and that will make you successful so this is just an opportunity to become better at that well, I shared with you five things. In my second video, I'll share with you the last five things. Um, now, of course, I learned hundreds of things through pageantry for sure, but these are definitely my top five for now. And then I look forward to sharing with you my next top five to create the 10 things pageantry taught me. It's been a pleasure talking to you. I have some exciting things to share with you. We're only halfway through my reign, tear, sadness. So there's just so much to go and I'm so excited for you young ladies who are signing up. Feel free to always contact me. I'll put some links in the description box, you know, look below on the screen, I don't know, somewhere, um, to find out more information. All right, God bless, be awesome.